Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another video for the Diecast F1 review. And here today the focus is the BAR01 from the 1999 Formula 1 season, the split personality car made by Mini Champs and in 118th scale, uh, driven by Mikasala. Now I'll talk, we'll talk about the box. The box is a standard Mini Champs version, or Mini Champs box with the black checkers on the top and the sides, although mine has gone a bit yellow because of the age, um, and maybe the previous owner was a bit pissed, but never mind. Um, of course, same on the side, and also got the uh, BAR01 Supertech Mikasala on the side there, 1999. Now it's really hard to think now that this car is 16 years old. Now, thinking back now, 1999, I was 13 at the time, and I absolutely loved this car. I don't know why, but it was iconic really, wasn't it? It was a split personality. History was the car was meant to run in two different liveries, but the FIA wouldn't allow it, or Bernie wouldn't allow it, or whoever wouldn't allow it. Who knows? Who cares? But it uh, made for a good joke. Now, I will just do a jump cut while I take this out of the box. You don't really need me to review the box because it's already been done. So, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've got the model out of the car. I just do a quick turnaround of the thing. It's a very nice quality model as well. Although, I do prefer the blue livery. Yeah, the history was that the the team when launched in ninety nine we're gonna review we're gonna race in two different liveries. Jack Villeneuve was gonna drive the white and red lucky stroke livery and Ricardo Zonta was gonna drive the blue uh three fives livery. Is it three fives, triple fives, five five five? How do you pronounce it? I don't really know. It's I just call it three fives. Um but yeah, they were gonna drive the two separate cars. The FIA, FIA wouldn't allow it saying both cars had to be identical and of course BAR had to uh cut and shut basically and we end up with a very topsy-turvy livery but uh, it became iconic throughout the year and it's also a running joke the team came into 99 saying they're going to win their first race and they didn't score a single point all year but never mind but uh, the liveries are quite nice although mine is the non-tobacco version doesn't have anything on the side there uh, both liveries are quite nice as well the, uh, the red and the black uh, smears all over the uh, side of the uh, white side and then you've got the nice blue on the other side it just makes me wonder really why BA BAR took it upon themselves to go down the white livery uh, for the rest of their uh, for the rest of the team or for the rest of their time in Formula 1 I really prefer the blue livery and it really would have been nice if we did have more blue cars at the time although we did have Prost and Sauber at the time who were blue as well but by the time uh, BAR or Honda pulled out pretty much all the cars on the grid were white apart from the two Red Bull teams and Ferrari most of the teams were pretty much all white or grey as their base colour and it looked you know, really looked, looked off pudding you can usually tell the quality of a, a livery design by the, uh, the uh, t uh, driver photo at the beginning of every year when all the drivers line up and have their photograph taken uh, together in the uh, in Australia Everyone wears the same coloured liver, uh, same coloured overalls, basically, apart from Ferrari, <laughs> and it looks ridiculous. But uh, onto the car itself, very nicely made model. I do have an issue with mine. I've just noticed it's a bit broken at the back now. I think is it broken or is it just, or is it just the way the light is? Oh, it is broken a bit. The uh, the rear wing support has lifted a bit. It needs gluing back on. I didn't realise that. It's been in the box for the past God knows how many years, but. Never mind. But uh, I've got the run free on the rear there. Much prefer the blue livery, like I just said. It's much more better than what BAR come up with later on. And also the the white livery as well was uh, a better livery than what they come up with later on. But uh, never mind. But the car itself throughout the year didn't score a single point. Jacques Villeneuve in the lead car did not finish a race until the Belgian Grand Prix. After which he destroyed a car, and well, both drivers destroyed both cars in the uh, practice and qualifying sessions of that weekend. And uh, it wasn't a slow car; it's just massively unreliable. It's it, the car ran third in the Spanish Grand Prix for a little while, but once again, reliability crept in. They would have scored points at the Nurburgring that year, but again, reliability kicked them in the face, and uh, they ended up completely pointless at the end of the year. Three drivers took part in the team that year. Villeneuve drove the lead car, Zonta drove the second car, but was injured in an accident at the Brazilian Grand Prix practice and 
we had the practice of qualifying and then he missed uh, the, uh, the next two races at San Marino and Monaco and then Mikasalo joined in or uh, filled his space and this is the uh, Mikasalo version I have here there's no ver no difference to the rest of the uh, to the other other two models the Villeneuve and the Zonta model apart from it has Silo in the car and uh, Silo's name on the side they haven't made any changes to the uh, delivery in any way um, but I do see a lot of on eBay or not so much now but a few years ago you tend to see a lot of people uh, change the decals for the full tobacco version they look quite nice uh, the delivery did change throughout the season as well because the Lucky Strike originally started off on well the, the, the circle part started off on the side and it just had Lucky Strike written on the side that was originally at the beginning of the year and then it sort of got mixed around throughout the year um, and of course on the other side we have the half moons representing the three fives it still does look like a five doesn't it, three fives but uh, vaguely uh, using the same design they use in all the Subaru rally cars at the time as well god WRC has changed over the years as well hasn't it, you don't have Subaru anymore you don't have Mitsubishi but I'll get onto that another day but uh, I really do like, really do like the, uh, the rim colours as well, nice blue rims on the uh, right side and then of course the red rims on the other side I can just swing it round nice red rims with a grey uh, grey rim around as well wheels are a bit squeaky but at least they go round same there as well the model does roll as well oh, squeaky wheels need an oil <laughs> and uh, yeah that's the only quality issue I have with this model as well apart from the broken rear wing which is probably my fault through years of neglect although it's been sat in a box for a few years um, price wise they're not hugely valuable they tend to go for around 20-30 pounds I paid 15 pounds for this but it was at the Goodwood Festival of Speed and you tend at that, at that time anyway you tend to get really cheap models there um, I did get a Schumacher uh, Jordan 191 there for 20 pounds of course they're quite uh, sought after now um, yeah, price rise this is not a hugely significant model although it's uh, significant in the way that uh, this is not how you should run a Formula 1 team or at least paint your cars anyway it does look it looks ridiculous now and it looked ridiculous at the time but I liked it and uh, also got the grey on the nose as well the big zipper down the middle it looks in the camera it looks bright yellow but uh, on the model it's actually more orange the uh, the zip down the middle anyway I'll turn it back that way I like the blue but yeah one of the good models of the collection I think because all the other models, all the other BARs throughout the years up till uh, the, the uh, got taken over by Honda basically all the same you had a big circle of red uh, lucky strokes on the side and on the rear wing and uh, they changed slightly in 2003 and four, but the delivery didn't really change and I think people got pretty bored of it they only changed it when they went to that ridiculous uh, My Earth Dream design which uh, just uh, looked ridiculous as well didn't change the team's fortunes either but uh, Ross Braun saved the day when Honda pulled out and I'll get onto that car another day but uh, BAR001 powered by the Supertech engine basically a rebadged two year old Renault engine uh, basically a rebadged Mechachrome engine as well uh, don't know the full story with Mechachrome I think Me uh, Mechachrome built the Renault engines through the 90s and then when Renault pulled out they went went on, uh, went on their own and then I think Flavio Briatore who owns Supertech uh, purchased the rights for the engine as well they basically just renamed them as Supertech engine um, and they ran until the end of the 2000 season powering the Arrows team uh, for, uh, the last time uh, Supertech were involved in Formula 1 um, and they gave Arrows um, a, a cause for celebration a better season than uh, they had for a long time um, but yeah, not much else I can say really. I uh, just admire the colour scheme of this side anyway. Don't really go much on the white side. I prefer the blue, and it really is a shame that BAR didn't really carry on the blue livery. It does look much better. I suppose it looks too much like a Prost, uh, really, doesn't it? It's kind of Prost looking, although with orange and uh, yellow and blue go faster stripes along the side. But uh, not to complain. Yeah, there's no no real quality issues with this model either. The steering works quite fine as well. 
it's a quite a, quite a solid design. Wing mirrors, a bit flexy, but they're on there. Uh, antennas as well, they're quite fine. T cam, solid. And also got the molded skip uh, flick ups at the back as well. They're metal as well, part of the body. Uh, the only real plastic is the wings and the uh, the uh, air box there and the barge board. Uh, underneath the car, we've got uh, we got upside down. Underneath we have the Paul's model art logo underneath, Mini Champs, 118, made in China, BAR01, Supertech from 1999. And also you've got the join in the colours, which <laughs> looks quite weird without the uh, zipper in there. And the rear wing is giving out a bit as well, I think it's more broken than it actually looks. It's uh, a bit too flexy, but uh, never mind. Apart from that, I give this car a thumbs up. If you want to add it to your collection, then by all means, they're quite readily available on eBay. Well, if you're not on eBay, uh, I don't really know where else you can buy them because all my decent model stores, at least in the UK, have all closed down. Uh, so, pretty much either Goodwood, Festival of Speed, or eBay. That's the only places I can think of where you can get this one. Although, recently the Goodwood prices have rocketed as well. I suppose not surprising considering the admin administrator. Uh, ad how do, how do you say it? It's admitted. No, it's not right. It basically, entry fee has gone up. You want to want to pay for a ticket for a weekend on your own? Sixty three pounds this year. That's ridiculous. When I first went to Goodwood, it was what fifteen pounds. Madness. Uh, well, anyway, enough about me rambling. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do a upset myself. But anyway, just notice the car has the uh, Reynard logo on the nose as well. Quick zoom in there. Quick zoom in of all the details. Actually, we've got the run free on the front wing. Very basic front wing by today's standards, by by all means. We've got the Reynard on the front. A few stars on the nose. Uh, well, on the front wing. The Reynard, British American Racing, Magneti Morelli, and the big zipper. Nice bit of detail on the driver there. Decent overalls as well. They've got the colour of the overalls right as well. The yellow arms, blue body, and then this way we go up different sides. To the rear wing there. Overall, nicely detailed model, and I do recommend it. But uh, that's my ten cents basically. But yeah, an absolute stunning car, and uh, an absolute mess of a livery. But, <laughs> but overall, I do recommend it. If you can get a hold of it, then by all means, just get it. So uh, this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return with another review. So. Bye for now.